Here we have a group of young, ambitious and persistent journalists who will hopefully give us answer to this big question. How to strengthen young media? We want to end this brave new media forum in a strong way. So let's try to give recommendation on this topic in the next 20 minutes. Uh, the result of the study on youth media also indicate that mainstream media still predominantly tra uh, treat young people as a homogeneous group without paying uh, attention to their age, subcultures, local context and sens sensitive groups. Guys, uh, thank you for joining me. The floor is absolutely yours. Let's try to find answer for uh, the first question of this panel. So uh, maybe Nikola can start. This study is only for Serbia, but is it maybe um, the same situ situation with media in your country? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Thank you for having Makanya on this. And uh, I wish everyone a nice evening. and. Uh, to answer your question, yes, definitely. Uh, when it comes to the situation in Montenegro, youth uh, culture, youth media, anything that is regarding youth is clustered into a big melting pot. And there are way too many ingredients to have something of taste. So basically there is nothing worth of value when it is when things are regarded when it comes to youth media. but. In the last couple of days, we have found a new lease on youth culture and life when it comes to our television services, our social media services, YouTube in general. And the question is that the future looks much brighter than the past few Great years combined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the good thing is the older generations are taking an interest in youth. As we like to say, the future lies within it's the young ones. <coughs> so what we are trying to do, so what we are trying to do is to uh, create a communication channel, not only between the young uh, media uh, participants, but also between the older generations who would uh, be more, more than enthused to cooperate with us and to give us enough space to grow to develop and to create something of value. They always say youth isn't a guarantee of innovation as well as the old age isn't a guarantee of uh, experience. But let's hope this time that our older generations have enough experience to channel the creativity of our younger generations. And that has become a commonality in this modern day and age of social media influencers, of YouTube, of uh, Twitch streaming of everything that regards youth culture. So uh, we have the chasm mm -hmm. between the generations is much smaller than it used to be because it is a necessity of our times. And I couldn't be more than happy to see a progress in areas where it usually wasn't as good as it used to be. Mm -hmm. So for the future, I would say that we're on the right steps. The, but when it comes to the finish line, we have to get there through cooperation, through communication and through creativity and experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful that you already have some answers uh, to this uh, also main question. Um, so um, I would like also to hear uh, your, propose, your proposals about uh, how can we make our media stronger. So Adna, maybe you can start. Yes, uh, thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be a part of Brave New Media Forum and it's my first time. Uh, of course, I was thinking um, about this topic uh, because this is a very important topic, uh, especially uh, for us uh, who work in the youth media and I will do my best to cover everything. Um, first of all, I think that uh, the most important thing is to support young people in every sense uh, because um, older people need to start uh, believing in young people and just give them a chance. Uh, it is important to give young journalists education and practice. Sorry, when you're fear. talking about older people, do you think older than young people or really old people? We had this uh, same question. No, younger the, than yeah. uh, younger <laughs> than uh, you. Yeah, <laughs> yes. just explain that. Yeah. Okay, continue, please. 
uh, I think that um, it is very important important to give um, young journalists uh, education and a practice because mm -hmm. um, young people learn best uh, through the practice. Uh, and yes, I believe that if we empower uh, young people who work in the media, we will empower that media as well. Um, also, uh, at the end, I think that financial support is very important um, because it is very difficult, uh, especially for young people to get money and um, money is, um, you know, <laughs> needed it's, for media yeah, development. It's usually the, the problem uh, for the, uh, the fundings to be recognized. So, uh, Jovana, do you uh, agree with Anna? Hello everyone, um, it's a pleasure for me to be here again on the, on the BNMF. Um, so I would say that there are two important things that we need to be, that needs to be considered in order to uh, strengthen the youth media. Um, it's the content and also as Adna said, it's the sustainability of those media. Uh, when we talk about uh, the content, it's important that there is a two-way communication uh, between journalists and the audience. Um, young people aren't a homogeneous group and the content shouldn't be homogeneous and it will not be um, only if we um, nurture um, the diversity within our team. Uh, it's also important to talk about um, the education of journalists. Uh, youth Vibes shouldn't be here um, if we didn't have uh, like a bunch of workshops. Uh, when we talk about uh, the sustainability, uh, money is an important factor and it should be talked about. Uh, how many employees uh, does one youth, youth media have? How many volunteers? Um, where does the money for youth media uh, for this from the state uh, from the government budget go uh, how one volunteer uh, youth media pays for domain hosting and etc so those are definitely uh, <coughs> big questions we need to, to think about mm -hmm. uh, Nicola do you have something to add regarding this question well I must say that I wholeheartedly agree with what was said previously and I only like to add that we, as a generation, have more opportunity to create content than all the previous generations combined, thanks to the internet and thanks to our modern technology, including phones and audio equipment. So from a technical standpoint, I really think that we have an advantage when it comes to the previous, when it comes to the disparity between generations and that we can truly create something worthwhile but the biggest problem today is that media has lost the, the trust of the people and we have to regain it in a way that is befitting to our culture that's the only thing i'd like to add mm -hmm. but uh, what you need exactly from others from institutions from organizations society in general in order to be stronger in media presence who would like to start well <laughs> yeah okay nicola the, okay. Or should, we, or should we go ladies first? As you wish. Well, anyone else? Or should I start? Okay, I'll start. So the idea, what, what we need from institutions is definitely backing. Perhaps on a financial level, on a technical mm -hmm. level, on a training program level, on an experience level, we need guidance. So we need to know what was good that came before and how we can tap into that again and uh, to know where, what to avoid in order not to stumble and fall. So the main idea would be to have a guiding hand in what we do, but still have enough understanding for our creativity and our risk taking. Because in our age, we're more risk takers than careful in that regard. So I, I say definitely what we, know, what we need from institutions is to stand behind us and give us enough air in our wings to propel us in the right way 
and from us to show gratitude and to show an openness for cooperation and respect the old guard. Let's, let's say that. Thank you. Jovana Radna. I totally agree with uh, Nicola, and as I said, um, support in providing education and uh, financial support are most important for young media. Mm -hmm. Well, I can add only that from the, from the society, we accept that um, from them to become aware of and to recognize the importance of youth media, to recognize that uh, uh, that to recognize the quality of people who, who work in youth media and to recognize the quality content. Uh, we know that uh, maybe we are small and maybe not so much um, interesting for some institution, but that doesn't mean that we are not strong. And uh, in fact, every youth media in the region covers a certain segment of population. And now imagine when all the media would, from the Balkans, would unite. I mean, well, it might happen, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when we are talking about that, actually, uh, what uh, can we think about the strategy that you can make, like in your own, own countries? Hmm, we are thinking. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah, start. why not? All right. So the strategies we were talking about is to find the things that are trending in this modern day and age, and to approach them from an honest standpoint. So if we want to bring minorities into the spotlight, we should do it in an honest and open way not for views or not for um, clicks or um, money, but because we believe in that. So we believe in causes. And that is how we gain trust from other people. When it comes to, say, uh, getting attention, then we find out what works uh, well. Well, for example, we want podcasts where students are the main characters. We want uh, sketch comedies that relate to the modern student, to modern youth. We want to tackle themes in a new and innovative way. way. If we talk about, say, uh, youth culture, uh, modern youth culture, like uh, uh, bullying or cyberbullying, as it is commonly known, why not approach the theme from both sides, from the bully and from the bully, from the perpetrator and from the victim? And that is how we get to the core of the problem. And that is how to create a strategy, an honest strategy, an open strategy, so a strategy people can relate to and can give their own two cents. So basically create discussions and create interest through uh, communication with people, and with other media, and uh, as my female colleagues already said, we need to unite first regionally, for, or should, should I say on a national level, then on a regional level. Then we can create a fine common ground and create together. Yeah, um, so of course, as we announced earlier, and Jovan and you already said, um, so the conclusion can be uh, joining your forces together and cooperate on a regional level. So um, what do you think about this idea? Maybe, Adna, we can uh, start with you. Uh, we have yes, a document the... and we have a plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so when we were in Sarajevo at the Young Media Lab, we decided that we needed to network and um, uh, today is the day to uh, present our um, Young Media Network. Uh, we will advocate for the uh, promotion uh, of media uh, literacy and uh, professional information. Great, well, congratulations. Uh, our, <laughs> our goal is to strengthen the existing existing media and to create a space for the new ones. Uh, the idea is to share our knowledge and experiences with each other, to exchange content, and in that way we can 
uh, work on our uh, diversity uh, in the content. We want to stand in front of the donors and the government as one powerful uh, union of youth media that has strength. Um, for Youth Vibes, it uh, all started almost four years ago, and it's a great honor uh, for me to um, actually sign this uh, memorandum today on uh, behalf of all members of Youth Vibes. Um, all this will be the beginning of a great story for youth media. For me personally, it all started when I decided to um, start a youth media on some high school class. And now together with uh, my uh, much older colleagues, I'm signing this memorandum on regional cooperation on the Balkans. And for all of this, I can only thank um, my editor-in-chief, Angelia, all the members of Youth Vibes, uh, Deutsche Welle Academy, local press comms, and all other organizations that have supported us uh, during these years. Nicola, do you also have your memorandum? Yes, of course. It is signed by it? our editor. Great. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, all together that cool. makes like 10 media from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Montenegro and Serbia that signed this memorandum. Among them is also three public media services. So um, for everyone watching, thank you guys um, for uh, for giving me such, such a good answers on this media and I hope uh, that uh, your network will especially work and that you will reach your goals. Thank you. But for everyone watching, thank you for, for being part of this year's Brave New Media Forum. Come on, guys, let's say hello. We enjoyed welcoming you again. Uh, don't worry, highlights of this conference will be available also online on our platform, bnmf.online. So we invite you to uh, check it again later. So uh, from all of us here from the studio, we enjoyed these two days. Um, let's say goodbye for uh, today and see you next year. Bye bye. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sanja Jukic and I'm editor-in-chief in Omladinske Novine, Klik Klik Pum from Novi Sad. We fully support the uh, idea of uh, networking young media because we think it's a great opportunity for all young people to work together and achieve new results. Hello, uh, my name is Nežana Radosinović. I have been working at uh, Radio and Television Montenegro, uh, which has recently uh, uh, joined uh, this uh, young media uh, network as our uh, uh, director general Boris Raonic signed uh, the memorandum of uh, uh, cooperation. Uh, I'm here on the behalf of Hexaton projects, Hexaton RTCG uh, YouTubers uh, uh, group. Um, I'm really uh, happy, we are happy uh, to be uh, part of uh, this young media network, young media family, as I'm aware that together uh, through um, uh, making connections, sharing ideas, uh, through um, magic of uh, co-creation, we can support our youngsters and help young people in our region uh, to be uh, more visible, to be seen, uh, to be heard, to be understood uh, and to be uh, seriously taken into account by our communities and our uh, societies. So let's do that together. Young Media Network is a great idea because that working with young people has brought uh, us a new youthful energy. Uh, and this is way I, Zoran Živković, of behalf of Glas Podrinja, express full support of this idea. Hello, everybody. My name is Lazar Simic, and I'm a journalist at Portal Krug and its child, Jesus of Plus. With great joy, I can say that we completely support the idea of establishing young media network due to great importance of connecting and empowering young people and youth media in the Western Balkans. Good luck everyone and srećno kako bismo mi to rekli od. Hello everyone, my name is Amar and I'm the president of the Youth Press Association Bosnia and Herzegovina. 
it's a great honor for me to have this opportunity to formalize our cooperation with really impressive and large media in the Western Balkans. Um, I had this opportunity in front of the youth magazine Karike to formalize this cooperation and I think that the creation of young media network is a great opportunity uh, because we will manage to facilitate our communication and manage to facilitate our collaboration in the Western Balkans. I hope that uh, the situation will allow us to next year to come to Belgrade live to talk with each other about media and to hang, uh, hang out. Thank you once again and uh, greetings from Bosnia. I'm very glad that um, I can sign this kind of document and that uh, O-Radio and uh, uh, our uh, public service is part of um, this Young Media Network. I believe that this network is just the first step, but a very big step to um, get a good informed young people and at the same time to uh, create a real picture of youngs in media. Hello everyone, my name is Nemanja and I am executive editor of uh, Zoomer RS uh, portal, uh, youth portal from uh, Serbia. Uh, Zoomer fully supports the idea of establishing a young media network because we believe that in time of complete darkness uh, in uh, our region of West Balkans uh, regarding the uh, media situation, uh, this network could be and should be uh, the game changer and the network that could uh, actually change the game for young media. Uh, the young media need more support and more uh, connections and uh, we need to work together to change uh, this uh, situation that we are uh, currently living in. So support young people, support professional journalism and of course support our network. Thank you.